Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Classic Video Games back with another cool pinball video for you this evening. This is Bally's 1984 X's and O's. If you've never played it, it's a fairly unique game. So we're going to try it out a little bit and look over the rule set and see how they, the thing was laid out and what it had going for it and see what 1984 looked like to Bally Midway. We got this in... Uh, probably a month ago or so and we usually film videos of us repairing them and we you know we show how we work through it and everything but um, on this particular one we didn't film much of what we did because it's getting close to Christmas and people are begging us for pinball machines so we are fixing them as quick as we can so people will have happy little machines under their Christmas tree this year but we can still play it because nobody's bought it yet so we'll check it out so it has like I said, it's 1984, and by 1984, um, the, the pinball companies had kind of simplified their games again a little bit. So, um, But this one did have stenciled side art that says X's and O's, not to be confused with tic-tac-toe, because you don't take turns. Now, it does say tic-tac-toe on the back box, but I don't think that has anything to do with the way you play it. So we're going to check it out and see. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong about that. It's got a really cool back glass. Um, kind of has that goofy, cartoonish um, artwork on it, but I like it. X's and O's, and then on the side here, the same thing. I want to show you, this is an this is a imported game it was overseas and it has this weird thing on it that I have yet to figure out what the hell it even is on the side of the cabinet they have drilled a hole there is what looks kind of like a sink drain installed in the hole what is in there who knows okay and then if you look inside it is just some kind of pipe that's closed off on the end and it has German writing on it <laughs> so, uh, hmm. I don't know what it is see how it's got threads on the end and there's a big like nut holding it on there so I don't know if it's meant to be some kind of ashtray thing or something I don't know why didn't why in the world would you have it sideways like that so I haven't figured that out yet but we're leaving it because it's better to have that and a good story than have a hole in the side of the damn cabinet, right? Coin door looks pretty good. Look at this. Look at that cool. I don't know if those are even original, but I ordered that from uh, Marco Specialties. They had just these cheesy little free play signs on it that, you know, they did a pretty good job with, but I wanted it to look more original. Um, and Marco sells this little Bally nameplate that you can put in the middle. You could probably even rig up a light behind it, but I don't know if it's got Yeah, it doesn't have the light socket installed. But anyway, let's uh let's check out the back box, shall we? Let's look at this artwork. Bally Midway X's and O's, and it's a very well lit back glass. So it's dominated by these two Neanderthal characters, one with a club who looks very upset, and he's looking at this other guy who seems oblivious to the fact that this guy obviously wants to hit him in the head with the club. And so he's standing here with his stick, and he's playing tic-tac-toe on the floor. And I guess he won. And so now this guy's going to hit him in the head since he won. And then you got all kinds of other little stuff. You got a little gator looking thing over here. You got a drunk mouse over here. Some uh, Somebody's been playing tic-tac-toe on the side of the barrel. And by the way, this was drawn by Pat McMahon. You've got this guy over here with a dagger. Must be uh, Brutus, and he's carving tic-tac-toe on his 
piece of paper there, which this guy is looking at. You got this guy over here. I don't know what he's doing. You've got this gopher down here. And this guy with a branding iron. And this guy with a branding iron. And they're playing tic-tac-toe on the back <laughs> of this horse. So I guess this guy won and this guy lost. And then you got this guy up here who is, he has some kind of gun or something and he's playing it somehow on a stand. Um, and then you've got on this pillar here, XO. And then you've even got this plane up here playing tic-tac-toe in the sky. Very cool game. And this was one of Bally's seven digit games. When we bought this, they, somebody had six digit displays in it, so we had to swap all of them. You can play it with six digit displays, but if you plug a six digit display in where a seven digit display is going, you get this weird ghost character where there's an extra number hiding in the score. It's really weird. Oh, and on the bottom it says tic-tac-toe. Now notice only three of them are lighting up, so we'll go over that here in a minute. It's pretty interesting. Um, and then the play field. Like I said, this was kind of at a time when uh, Bally was cheaping out a little bit. I don't know if they were all running out of money or what, but um, it's an interesting layout. You've got a place over here where you can lose the ball if you come out this lane, which is usually the end lane, but the out lane, it goes back around and through here, and it saves itself. We had a game recently that is set up just like that. And it has like a train track on it or something. Oh, uh, Comet. I think Comet is set up like that. Uh, and on this side, if you come down the end lane, you're safe. But if you go down the out lane, you get the opportunity where you can try to bounce the ball into this saucer. And if you bounce it into the saucer, the saucer will kick the ball through this gate back into play if you land in there. So that's fair, I think, right? And if you do get a saucer, saucer scores 5,000 points for each X or O on card. So it's kind of, you kind of want to try that, maybe. It's a good way to get your uh, bonus in the middle of the game. Um, the play field's dominated by this tic-tac-toe board, or X's and O's board. You're not supposed to call it a tic-tac-toe board, I don't think. It does say it on the back glass, though. Um, you've got Neanderthal number one over here. You've got Neanderthal number two over here with his club up, again. Oh, and they are the same. Look. So, there's that guy. He's the same guy from the back glass. And there's that guy. He's the same guy from the back glass. That's pretty cool. I like whenever they do that. And so here's our mouse again. Fruit and everything. Here's the X's and O's guy on the scroll, like in the back. Here is a woman with a uh, magic wand or something. playing tic-tac-toe and there is a little tinkerbellish character up here and then over here you've got the two cowboys and the horse who has been branded with the X's and O's has got his revenge by branding the cowboy with a couple horseshoes and then you've got three horseshoe drop targets up there and you also have this weird skill shot here. If you just barely plunge it to where it falls back down here and hits this and doesn't go all the way and hits this, that's your skill shot. Uh, another thing about this game, like I was talking about how they cheaped out a little bit. If you look, you've got three drop targets up here. You don't have five, you got three. You've got three pop bumpers, which is pretty standard. Um, 
you've got the tic-tac-toe board and to make that work they had to put an extra display board in the back so in the back box there is an extra board to, that runs some of these extra lights that they've got and you have a saucer you also have a third flipper but there's there's certain things missing like even the kickers are not active it's just a switch so the ball just bounces off of it so you don't even have kickers they took those out to save a little money I guess um, so you've got three flippers three pops three drop targets and a saucer and that's it nothing else really uh, powered <laughs> So you got to do it all with the flippers, people. So let's read the instructions because the games are always more fun if you know how to play them. Instructions. Timed skill shot from plunger scores progressively. 100,000 points, 200,000 points, and a special. So again, that's that shot there. You come up here. I don't know if you have to make that switch, but you have to make that switch. If you go all the way around, it doesn't work. So we'll try that here in a minute. Completing the entire card with all X's or O's lights one letter on the back glass. So this is an interesting feature. Um, these target, it says target score X or O. And these light up, right? So you get these three targets here, these three targets here, and these three targets here. If you hit, see how it's on X now? Now it's on O. This board has the ability to light up an X or an O. It's really pretty cool the way they did it. They got a little plastic thing under there that makes one shine or, or the other. Um, but if you hit these, it gives you a X or an O on the board. If you get all X's or all O's on the board, like the entire card of all nine, you get a whole bunch of points and it gives you one more letter on that tic-tac-toe on the back so it would light up the T next to C. That T-I-C is stored in the game right now because that's how far it's been played up to now. So if I got the T, it would, it would from then on say T-I-C-T and I could turn this thing off and when I turn it back on four days from now it would still say T-I-C-T. So it holds over after the game's turned off. Completing the card advances card bonus lights. So the card bonus lights are these here. 90,000, 180,000, 270,000, and special. So completing the card, it doesn't have to be all X's or all O's. You just complete the card. Completing any line of X's or O's locks in and advances three in-line bonus lights. So the three in-line bonus lights. Where is that? Boom, boom. Here, oh, yeah, here we go. Three inline bonus is all this down here. So that is your three inline bonus. It says completing any line of X's or O's locks in and advances three inline bonus lights. Special. One replay for making the skill shot when lit for special. One replay for knocking down drop targets when lit for special. One replay for ball through top lane when lit for special. That's that one there. One replay for ball through left side lane when lit for special. Uh, was that the left side lane? Oh yeah, that was the left side lane. That's the top lane. One replay for completing any entire card, any symbols when card bonus light is lit for special. Card bonus light. Two replays for completing tic-tac-toe on back glass. So that's a really interesting feature. Like I said, it holds over. So you might walk up to the game and it says tic-tac-to, and all you need to do is get it to E and you get two free games. So uh, that's kind of the whole gimmick of the game. Filling it all the way up with either X's or O's. Just like that. It's as simple as that. Shouldn't be hard at all, should it? And when you do that, you will get another letter. So if you get it, if you spell out tic-tac-toe, you get two free games, and it holds over from game to game, so you can steal somebody else's uh, two replays. One replay for completing entire card with all X's or O's. Extra ball, one extra ball for ball through top lane when lit for extra ball. 
tilt penalty is the ball in play, maximum one extra ball per ball in play. And if you didn't know the tilt penalty ball in play, the reason they put that is because on some games back in the day, um, if you tilted, it took the entire game from you. You lost your whole quarter, and that would be horrible, wouldn't it? Just for a little rubbing when you're racing. All right, so that is Bally's X's and O's. Let me get the tripod, and we will play it a little bit and see if we can get anywhere on it. So by this time in 84, they, just, you know, they were to the point where they had attract modes in the games and you could kind of make the lights dance a certain way like that. And basically it's pointing out, you know, different features that you can aim for and all that. So basically we're going to just try to fill up the card. Let me see if I can turn it up a little bit. It's going to get louder, people. Probably just screwed my my skill shot. Oh, I missed it. All right, so I want I want heck, no, no, I don't want nothing now because see, I, I switched it. Oh no, okay, that'll work. Since I since I'm still on O's, watch it switch. Nope. Okay, what do I want to hit? Okay, so see, this one won't give me any more O's. It jumped over to now they're worth 5,000, but the ones in the center there will still give me O's. Oh, no, it swapped over to an X. So while you got... Okay, now I'm back to O's. Oh, no, I missed. I missed. Mm. I'm a big fan of... Uh, of kickers the kit whenever you've got kickers you know that actually kick it's like you have extra flippers so i really like those so this not having i went too far mm. so this not having kickers is a drawback to me i like having kickers okay so on that last one i just proved you can't hit that switch just above it you have to not hit... Oh, there we go. So I got it that time. So I think what's happening is there's a switch for each target. All right, so that's it. Um, so I think... Let's see here. It says center row targets. Spot, X, spot an X or an O. Targets score 5,000 when lit. Right. This says right row targets. This says left row targets. So I guess it's the vertical targets. Hmm. Into the mess thing. Let's try it again. Oh. <laughs> nope. Too much. So what are we doing? X's? We doing X's or O's? X's. So what swaps it to an O? Mm. What changes it to an O? Oh, too much. Oh, it's the damn, it's the damn not kickers. It's the, it's the no kicker switches. Now I'm on O's. Mm. So how in the world, so I need to miss the targets. Hmm. <laughs> Pro move, people. <laughs> Pro move. I'm gonna try that some more. <laughs> it 
stay off, stay off, the, stay off those lanes. Those. Oh, I did it again. <laughs> All right, I'm trying to. I'm starting to get it a little bit. So I can't hit any of those switches until I change it back to X's. Oh, got it. I like the, um, I like the sound. I don't know if it really fits the game. Come on now. Come on now. Mm, so close. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to play one game where we just swing for the fences. Oh, I guess I should be telling you my score. I got a paltry 427,000. Nope. Oh, too much. Well, that swapped it to O's too. Yeah, so that lane says changes X and O targets. Oh, too much. Oh man, what happened? How'd that happen? Yeah, big ugly O right in the way. And once you get one. Yeah, give me them points. Once you get one, I think you're kind of in trouble. I mean, I don't, you can't really... I don't think you can change it back. I'd love to get the card all one way at least once. Skill shot, baby. What? It didn't give me my skill shot. And I can't even complain because I'm the guy that worked on the game. Oh, it did change it. You can change them. Oh, I missed. I missed the saucer. It did change it. It's got the same exact skill shot. It didn't hit that switch that time either. I gotta adjust that. That sucks. Look, yeah, you can swap them. That's interesting. Hmm, wrong way. It's 
it's it's got a little strategy to it. I'll give it that. Mm, nothing. Slid it right past me. I got it that time. The saucer works. <laughs> Ooh. The switch worked. The switch decided to work that time, but I didn't get the skill shot. Uh, so I'm on O's. So my right one, I've got an X. So if I can get, if I can hit, beat up those ones on the right, maybe it'll swap that X to an O. So it locked in the ones on the left. So they're going to have to stay O's now. I guess it needs to be the top one. Mm. It burped on me. I won't tell you my score. It sucked that time. Let's see if we can get there. Ah, oh, come on. And I cleaned that switch. I didn't know it was messed up, but when I had the when I had the play filled up, I cleaned it, made sure it was all right. Everything's cool. Now it's tripping. time it hit it when it doesn't matter it hits it hmm. I feel as if this game is mocking me flipper up there which is the problem with third flippers at you at the end all right I'm gonna fix the skill shot switch while y'all were off doing God knows what I was fixing the switch and I think I have it I think I have it fixed I'm having a light problem too I'm watching Let's see if any of y'all have noticed the light problem there is a light problem on this game Yeah. I don't know if that means I got the points though. I think the time ran out. Wait, 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 wait. No, no O's. <laughs> I was trying to bounce it off this post to make it hit that. That's my light problem. Did you see that? <sighs> and I, I messed with it just now when I had the thing off. Oh, 
Go! You hear the blue, 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 blue? No, that's the switch. So the switch is working. Oh! There we go. There we go. No, no. There we go. Oh, no. And it, it changed it on me again. Ah, oh, that big ugly zero. See the one zero ain't working. Ugh. I finally got my points. I guess I should just try to complete. I guess I should just try to complete a card regardless of its X's or O's. So we'll shoot for that. And my O came back on. It's back. Oh, too far. But close. All right, I'm just going to try to hit all the switches. No! Who? I haven't done anything with those drop targets. The drop targets have not really been my focus here. I'm trying to do the little X's and O's thing. to get them all. Mmm. Slid it right by me. So close. I only got two left. Eventually it goes away if you miss enough. See, it went away. I just barely lost it. Mm. You see how they're doing me? Do you see how they're doing? Those ones on the right are harder for me to hit. I don't know why. You'd think it would be the same. I guess they're, well, no, they're turned the same. Why is it harder for me to hit those than it is those? Very strange, people. I must just play favoring one hand or something. Ooh. Oh, that's why I'm never at the drop targets, because I never, I'm always trying to do the skill shot. Mm. On Comet, I've saved the ball doing that before. If it's dropping down and you hit it just right, it'll bounce through that gate. Ooh. I saved it that time without going in the saucer. Saved it again without going through the saucer. Too much. people it's killing me all right we're gonna play one last game this is the final game everybody i need your prayers and your consideration <laughs> oh 
Pow! Ooh, I hit that one pretty direct, but it didn't. It didn't spot me. What's with that? Why didn't it spot me? Mm. It's because the game's an import, a re-import. That's why. I'm gonna blame it on Germany. Yep, these import games, they just don't play as good. Ooh, ooh. nice shot up the left side there. Maybe I should try that more often. Mm. Slid it right by me again. So there you go, folks. That's Bally's X's and O's. I like it, but it's, you know, you're kind of, you are you know, like the name suggests, you're kind of doing the uh, the thing in the middle of the play field there. And that's kind of the goal of the whole game. Now, by the time you see this video, I would bet that Bally's X's and O's isn't even in our showroom anymore. Which is probably going to sell pretty quickly. Because it's a good looking game. And it's a, you know, it's, it might not be the best game for a seasoned pinball player like a lot of my watchers. Would you look at this? Did you see the X? It may not be a great game for uh, my uh, seasoned players who watch this, but to a casual player or a younger player, it's kind of cool because you got a nice little uh, focus that you're trying to, you know, it's, it's pretty easy to understand the rules. Frustratingly difficult, though. But uh, I would imagine this won't last long. This is—it's kind of you know—this is kind of the same time that they were doing like Spy Hunter and uh, Mr. and Mrs. Pac-Man. It's kind of laid out similar to Mr. and Mrs. Pac-Man with the the uh, skill shot. I can't remember what the Spy Hunter skill shot was like. But there you go. So. By the time you see this video, this game may not even be here anymore, but you can see all of the games that we do have available for sale at any time by going to our website. Go to lionsarcade.com. It's always up to date. Um, I just put this up on there tonight before I filmed this video. So uh, it's always up to date. Every time we've got something finished up, we put it up on there. And as soon as we sell one, we take it down off of there. So if this isn't on there, it's already sold, unfortunately, for you. But fortunate for me. <laughs> <laughs> it all depends on how you look at it, people. Isn't that what Einstein's theory of relativity is really all about? So, you can also come by and see us. We are in downtown Rock Hill, South Carolina. We're about 15 miles south of Charlotte, North Carolina. Just over the North-South Carolina border. Which is not the Mason-Dixon line. It's much it's much farther south. So, if you're... If you're it doesn't really separate North from... You, you get what I'm talking about. So... Yes, you can stop by and see us. We've got a whole building full of arcade games for sale. A few pinball machines uh, that we're working on, as you can see here. Um, now, if you can't come by because you don't live anywhere near here, that's fine. Uh, and if you can't, you don't want to buy one because they cost way too much to ship, that's fine too. We're not really trying to sell you a game. We're just having fun putting vent, uh, videos on YouTube. We're 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 doing pretty good selling them without. Uh, without having to beg people to buy them. So we're just trying to uh, get a uh, kind of like a video history of these. You know, now there's probably plenty of videos of this game on YouTube, but we think that we do them a little different. So uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave your comments below. If you subscribe to us, uh, you can keep uh, up to date on all of our happenings. We're always filming new stuff. That damn X is driving me crazy. 
much better. So subscribe to us here on YouTube and uh, you can see all of our new videos. Leave your comments below. Let us know what you think. If you, We especially like it whenever people tell us where they used to play it. They used to see it back in the day, what they thought of it back then, what they did with their, their, their cousin Mikey. Mikey used to cheat all the time. They kicked us out one time because he put pop cans underneath the front legs to make the ball roll slower. We love stories like that. So give, leave your stories below. Uh, make sure to give us a thumbs up for taking the trouble to film this for you. And uh, we will see you on the next video. Hope you enjoyed it. That is Bally's X's and O's.